Elaine Spivey, Bossier Kids, Bossier City. Most of the children that Elaine has had as foster children have had, have been handicapped children. Uh, they've been severely burned. There's been the shaken baby syndrome. There's been children that have had injuries that uh, unknown to anybody how they became that way. Some of the children um, the, have lived in homeless shelters, they've lived in cars, they've, uh, you know, just wherever they can find a place warm to sleep. When they found the children and took them, they uh, had body lice and head lice and just needed uh, a lot of love. Elaine's role as a foster parent is one that's a very busy life. It's one where you put someone else's need above your own. And whether it's one child or 10 children in your home, you, she's there to take care of that child and whatever need that they have or all their needs at once. We've only been, had 37 children uh, the 17 years that we've been doing this. But our 37, almost all of them have been handicapped in some way. We've had everything from shaken babies to children that have had strokes. We had one child that had a pacemaker. Uh, we've had um, preemies, very small, that took a lot of extra treatment. A lot of the kids, when we get them, come to us with what belongings they have in a garbage bag. We make sure no child ever leaves our home with a garbage bag. They leave with their clothes in a suitcase, and their toys packed up in a box. She knows they have nobody else that can take care of them, and they're helpless children. And I think she would think of her own children in that situation and what she would want and how she would want them treated. So she treats the children that she has in her home like she would wanted her children to have been taken care of and treated. I don't consider myself very special. I'm, I'm a mother that loves children, that uh, loves having them. To be able to do it this long and enjoy it as much as we do, God had to mean for me to do this. She's just good with children. Elaine and her husband both just seem to enjoy what they do, and it, I know it would be hard for some other people to take care of that many children that have different things wrong with them, but they just seem to enjoy what they do. Some of these children maybe would not even have lived as long as they have had it not been for Eli. In, in Proverbs 31, it talks about the woman who gets up early. She takes care of her family. Her family is before everyone else. And in the end, she's blessed. She's blessed above all women. And that's Elaine. She's gonna be blessed because she's given so much of herself unselfishly to take care of the children and uh, and those in the community too. She's got a special place in her heart for her children and she loves them tremendously. And I think that she is. She's a Proverb 31 woman that she will be uh, called blessed in the end. It's really a thrill to be able to say, I've had 37 kids in and out. Uh, we've seen them get better lives. We've seen them uh, learn to walk again. We've seen them learn to uh, speak again, to see those children and to see them make those achievements. It just fills your heart bigger and bigger and take in more.